Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna find out what new psychic gifts you have coming in, okay? So Spirit is going to channel some messages through me for uh, the purpose of finding out what you are soon about to discover about your psychic abilities. Pile one, pile two, three, four, and five. If you guys want a personal, if it resonates, all the information's in the description. Also check out Patreon for more content like this. I love you guys, thanks for being here. Let's get started with pile one. Hey everyone, thank you for being here. Those who chose this deck, pile one. Let's find out. Holy Spirit, can I please know messages for pile one? What are their new psychic gifts coming in? Mm. I'm hearing monk, monk status. There's something about your meditation that's gonna get a lot easier very soon. Great ideas for business are also coming through meditation very soon for pile one. Clairvoyancy, wow, there's a lot of gifts for pile one. I'm actually getting something in the 3D, like very much tangible, tangible, like uh, how, to, how to monetize your gifts is what I'm getting. Pentacles, you could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I keep seeing pentacles. You're gonna get really business savvy very soon. Coming up with like a brand new idea. Wow, five of pentacles. Coming up with a brand new idea to get out of something. I heard to heal the brokenhearted, seven of cups. You guys are gonna spend more time in the 5D. Look at this, the four of pentacles, which for me is the, is the earth plane. I read this card as the earth plane of materiality. You're going to be transcending. Transcending the 3D. Planting seeds in the 5D. Through meditation, you're going to be able to pull down the version of reality that you want. You're going to be able to tune into it easier. Make better money this way. It's something about money. Please, Spirit, tune me into that. Page of Pentacles. You guys, you can't make it up. Something about learning, discovering, money. You're changing the idea of money. You're no longer you're no longer going to be scared of money. Losing it, gaining it, giving it away, keeping it, hoarding it, nothing like that. You're not gonna be afraid of materiality anymore. You're not gonna be afraid of the 3D plane anymore because you're you're transcending it. You're learning something about money that will change your life forever. You could be breaking a lot of generational curses. I feel that's said everywhere, everybody says that, but I feel for you, it's not only generational curses, but the material plane itself. You've ascended past the 3D, like you, you, you're, you're getting there. The world, you can't make it up, guys. I hear, I hear that, that verse in the Bible, um, in the world, but not of it. That's what I'm getting here. You're, you're creating a new world, a 5D world where like everyone has access to wealth. Your psychic gifts, whatever it is that you've been doing has been working. You've been doing it right all along. Um, it's just basically you haven't seen the fruits of your labor yet. It's like you haven't seen the reality of the 5D come to earth yet. I just heard wear a lot of yellow. Yellow could really help you. Ten of pentacles. Guys. The magician. Okay. And the three of pentacles. Okay, listen. It's it, a pile one. Money will not be a problem for you very soon. Ever again. Like ever again. And you're gonna have so much wealth and abundance that you'll want to give, you want to share. You will just be this, you're, you're tuning in permanently to a frequency of abundance, but especially in wealth. And, and then you're bringing it to the 3D so you don't have to ever be worried again about money. Nor do you ever have to worry again about people stealing money from you because you see that from a mile away. 
it's it's using the law of attraction mixed with the law of assumption i feel like you guys have already been using the law of assumption you already assume that you're wealthy and abundant but you haven't been able to get your vibration permanently set yet also the dog upstairs is going crazy look at this justice i feel like you guys as well are realizing your karma you were paying off someone else's karma yeah, you could have been really tired, feeling lethargic, low, like you didn't want to manifest money. You, you weren't even driven, I'm hearing. You weren't driven to get anything done. It's like you wanted to give up. That, that is over. That phase of your life is over. You're seeing it for what it is. It's someone else's karma, and you're either returning to sender or you're just pulling your energy back. Four of pentacles. Guys, nine of pentacles. <sighs> it's just crazy. This one is just, honey, this is just, this is just money, money, money. Like, like, wow. I just keep hearing, wear yellow, wear yellow. Also yellow citrine would be really good crystal for pile one. Wear yellow, 10 of cups, right under the 10 of pence. Oh my God. You're learning how to be more self-sufficient on your own. You don't need anyone. You guys, five of pentacles, page of pentacles, nine, ten, four, three, all pentacles and the world. You're really overcoming materiality, not materialism, because you're still allowed to be, you know, I think that a lot of people think that being spiritual and, and having, you know, material needs and wants and desires is somehow stupid. Like, uh, no. You still live in the 3D world. Like, you still live here in the matrix, right? I think that because people see, like, a monk, like, I feel like you're very much a monk at this point. Um, they see, like, just someone who meditates all day and stuff. Like, somehow you don't want a Vitamix. <laughs> or want to drive a Maserati. You can have that. You can have all of it. Look at this, the hangman. You're getting a perspective change about money and the material world. You're seeing things differently. Wow. Wow. Guys. Wow. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. I feel like you're gonna be a millionaire. This is like pile one. You chose to break karmic contracts and a lot of um, like generational curses about money. You're gonna be the first in your family to at least make six figures. I would say probably a million. I, I bet you in this lifetime you will be a multimillionaire. Guaranteed for pile one. Because you understand. It's like you see the code to the matrix. There is something else. Oh my God, we saw the friggin' Wheel of Fortune on the split. Listen, there's something else happening too. Um, another psychic gift that you have, it's not just this, there's another one as well. It's that you see energy it's like you see low vibrational energy for what it is it's like not physically maybe um but you can see other people and their intentions yeah their motives which is it kind of goes hand in hand with having this much money because you need these defenses you need to feel safe and secure in your own energy because having this much money with people who take advantage of you is a mm -mm, no that will cause more harm than good for of Four of Cups, you're getting really good at rejecting people. Smelling a rat. Whoa. I, pile one, Aries, Gemini energy, or Taurus, you could have broken a spell. Some sort of past life. You guys... You tied, you tied yourself to someone. Wow, yeah, I'm hearing red string of fate. It was more like the black string of fate or black as in black magic, that's what I'm getting here. You guys tied yourself, look at all these strings. You tied yourself to somebody in a past life and you're breaking free from that tie in this lifetime which is exactly what you wanted to do. At a soul level, you wanted to do that. You, you came here to do that. You're getting much more independent in this lifetime. 
judgment. This is what you wanted to do. You wanted to believe in a better reality for yourself and you came here to do so. You didn't want to be um, consistently taking from this person anymore because in a past life they used that to their advantage and they, they like tortured you at a soul level. Two of Swords. Why is that here? Mm -hmm, yeah, your paths. Your paths were crossed. Not anymore. I'm not anymore. Six of Pentacles. Right under the Five of Pentacles. So you're going from this lack with this person to the Six of Pentacles, which is no longer lack. It's getting other people to uh, invest in you and support you, cheer you on even. And this person never did, but in a past life they didn't either. They didn't want you to get away. In this lifetime you got away. So your psychic gifts coming in are being, being able to tell people, no, absolutely not. Energetically, telepathically, with your aura, not even with your, your, your human language. Like you don't need to do that. At a soul level, you tell them no. Dreams as well. Like in dreams, you're telling these people no. I'm getting wear yellow, the sun. You need to wear yellow for more confidence and telling people no. You're going to feel very good soon about confrontation. You're not going to be scared of confrontation anymore because you're going to know that you need to defend this huge avalanche of money that you have coming in, guys. And it's going to be amazing. I feel like manifesting money for you will not be a problem anymore, okay? Because you ended this cycle that was a past life thing. It was a past life thing with someone. It could have been a soulmate. Yeah, for sure I'm getting soulmate. And I feel like you guys were even married in a past life for some of you. Others, it wasn't like that. Others, it was like a mom or a dad sister, brother, something like that. Either way, this person can find you and they, they um, restricted you in some way and you're getting free of it in this lifetime. So that's your next um, psychic gift, guys. I love you so much. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Those who chose pile two, welcome to your reading. Let's find out today what psychic gifts you have coming in very soon. Holy Spirit, can you please tune me to pile two? I just heard Freudian slip. I think someone just um, said a Freudian slip around you, which is when you, when you say something and you didn't mean to, but it was like, whew, it's really telling. It tells a person, it, it, it can, it's a dead giveaway, okay? A Freudian slip is when you say something you didn't mean to, but it really shows your true colors, whether that's good or bad. I mean, look up Freudian slip, guys. It's like a thing. It's like from Freud. But I, 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 there is something about like you're unconsciously, you're, you're seeing other people's unconscious, their motives before they do. Two, two, two could be really important for this pile. You're seeing their motives. Hidden motives are coming to light before you see, before you like see it consciously, you're, you're, you're already hearing it like, I don't know, telepathically or something. People are really exposing themselves. That's a psychic gift because what I'm hearing is when they say it, when these people say it, they have no idea that they've said it. Yeah, they have no idea that they said it. It's like you're going, they have to go backwards and like rewind and like look at what they've said while well, you already heard it. And it's like a red flag immediately. I just saw the number 144, so you could be 144,000. I was getting two. Very important. Um, I didn't look at this yet, but the number two is important for this one. I'm not sure. You could be life path two. Maybe you're born in February. Um, another really cool uh, trait that you have coming in is like your ability to pull your energy in. Keep it to yourself. Like what, what spirit is showing me is a huge aura of a lot of different, like so much energy, so much energy that you blind people in a way, like energetically speaking, you're blinding um, and you're bringing that energy to yourself and you're really just kind of keeping it in a smaller vicinity. You know, you're not like there, your aura. Yeah. It's not so big anymore. It's like the normal aura, I think goes six to 10 feet. You're, you're bringing it in like one foot around you. 
people can't invade your bubble anymore. Like, literally, when you go to the grocery store, like, people will not be able to penetrate your auric field, which could, could, could influence the way that you see life, the way that you think about things, the way that you act. You're, you're, you're not going to be influenced by that anymore. Not really a psychic gift, but it is a gift. I am hearing that somebody's about to have a baby. Congratulations. You're going to get pregnant. Pile two, I feel like you guys might be a soulmate uh, to someone. I feel like pile two is going to have a baby, a child one day. You might already have kids. Something about children is changing as well. Like your ability to speak and soothe them telepathically. I heard coddle. Yeah, to coddle them. To, uh... To nurture them, yeah. Ooh, the devil. Oh, another really cool gift is you're gonna see you're gonna soon see um, food intolerances. A child might have a food intolerance. I'm seeing rice and gluten. Um, you might soon see that you and your family has like some sort of gluten intolerance or something. I don't know. It's, it's just an example, guys, but. You're gonna see very soon that a child, a behavioral issue in a child stems from, I heard gluten though, I did hear it. Um, but it, it's different for, look at this, Queen of Pentacles, this is the mom for me. So yeah, I'm getting like your mothering skills is really gonna improve. And even if you're a man, like the, the way that you can intuitively pick up on what your children need. Even babies, babies, wow. I'm even hearing kids with autism. You're going to be able to hear very soon. If you don't already have this gift, you are going to have it soon. And it's like, I can tell that so-and-so needs this and they need this mineral or vitamin. And this j deficiency is, is, you know what I mean? Like it's, wow, 10 of swords, nine of swords, because they're acting up nine of, yes, they're acting up. You're going to see, okay. So for pile two, I'm getting like your mothering skills are coming in because Kicking and screaming is what I'm hearing. So your child could be sick or like they have like this mood disorder. And what I'm hearing is it could be because when you go to a store, their aura is too big. Theirs is too big. It's going to be like you envision their auric field coming in closer and people can't be in their bubble. I, I feel like pile two has a lot of burdens right now. Like a lot, a lot of shit going down in your life. You're gonna have an easier time soon trusting the spiritual nature of it, more energy. Cause you know guys, like when you go to the hospital, I'm not saying there's not a physical problem, but it all stems from emotion. It, it stems from our emotional pain body. So it's like, when you, like for instance, I went to the hospital one time with a heart attack, what I thought was a heart attack. I get there and the R guy's like, dude, you're, you're fine. Like your heart is perfect. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. I went home, cried for like a whole hour I got triggered emotionally and I cried for a whole hour and it was done. It was over. No more heart pain. It's all emotion. It starts with emotion first. I'm not saying that physical ailments aren't real. They're very real, but it starts with the emotion, emotionality. And, and I feel like right now you have someone around you or yourself that really needs like a spiritual element of this. Okay. Like I'm not even going to, dismiss the fact that this could be a demon uh, okay guys that shit is real like look if you don't believe in that totally cool this is where you and i differ uh, there could be a spiritual element at play in your home as well especially if there's a lot of negativity harshness harshness of words spoken uh that darkness will fuel some negative lower vibrational entities to reside take place in your home and stay there my suggestion, buy some sage, um, maybe uh, Palo Santo, um, open the windows. Especially if you're seeing flies and things. Look, I really am feeling this energy of like a lot of conflict in your life because as soon as I said buy sage, I heard somebody say, no, don't buy sage, try this and this. I don't give a shit what you do, just do it. 
because I feel like right now you guys have so many people coming at you trying to tell you, look at this eight of swords, trying to keep you in fear about a spiritual element, like do whatever you're gonna do, but do it and do it fast because there is something in your home that is not good and it is impacting your children. I just heard constipation for your baby as well is caused by this. I mean, guys, look at this, look at this. There's too much negativity, too much drama. You are fighting with someone and it is breeding this darker, low vibrational energies to be living in your home, living in your home. Open the curtains, open the windows, try sage. Your psychic gifts very soon is gonna be like a mother that's healing an entire family because you, you tune into the spiritual element of things. You need to see that there's more of a spiritual element to this than, than I think most people realize. Two of swords and the star, the empress. Definitely if you're a mom, what I'm getting is your healing nature is about to be amplified. You're just gonna know. You're gonna know, okay, so-and-so has this problem because of this. Guys, Spirit is really showing me you have demons in your home. Like straight up, like, 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 like straight up demons. <laughs> like fucking low vibrational bullshit, okay? These things are latching onto your family. They are causing havoc. They, they are literally causing you all to be at each other's throats. I'm gonna, I have to burn some more sage here. I mean, whatever the fuck this is. Um, incense. Yeah, incense sticks would be good too. Incense. You have, you have straight up like demonic fucking entities or some shit in your home because this darkness keeps being, it's, 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 it's fueled by the aggression, by the, by the madness, by the chaos. You'll be the first to like in your family want to create a spiritual safe haven in your home. And you might even create just one room like that. And I'm hearing that would be really good for like a timeout room. A timeout room is like the, the one room that you sage often or clear or, or have some 432 hertz music or some shit because this is just not a good, this is not a good thing. So your spiritual gifts that are about to come in is how you mother people and how you cast out demons. That's what I see. Fucking demons, bro. That shit is so real. Man, I've seen Slender Man before. I've been, I've been literally uh, sexually attacked by an incubus. I've been possessed by a shadow figure. Like, honey, I know demons are fucking real. Like, I don't care how many people try to tell me love and light, love and light, that's all that exists. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Six of Wands. And you're gonna do this like very successfully as well. Like, this is gonna be, this is your next gift. Like, your, your spiritual gift is being able to successfully hear the spiritual symptom of someone's physical ailment. Queen of Swords, and you're gonna cut that shit out. We got Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, so this is definitely you. You're gonna be able to cut that shit out. A spiritual problem to a very real world physical ailment. It's like a shaman, Three of Pentacles. And you're working with your guides to do this. Like, I feel like you'll be asking yourself better questions in your head or out loud, like, like for instance, um, what is causing so-and-so's, you know, little Timmy, what's causing his little diarrhea or whatever? <laughs> like, guys, I'm sorry, but I feel like you're a mom, so I don't think this would offend you at all, saying the word diarrhea. And um, your guides are gonna be like, okay, well, it's this, this, this. You'll get signs, you'll get signs. And you're gonna know to follow them. I don't think a lot of people might believe you at first, but the proof will be in the pudding, two of cups. The proof will be in the pudding. It's like you give this, your, your child or someone something that intuitively you as a mama know about. You give them this, it's like, a, it's like a, an elixir, some sort of, I don't know. I don't know, you find some sort of natural holistic thing or you go to a Reiki practitioner or a naturopath or something and then boom, it's like they're fixed. And you're like, you're, you're, just, you're just like, whoa, whoa. I'm not saying don't go to a real doctor, guys. Of course, modern medicine is a great thing. Like, team antibiotics all the way. Like, modern medicine is a, is a godsend. I also know what else is a godsend. Thyme, oregano, sage. 
nine of pentacles the sun i am i am getting um that you might be married soon you're gonna be meeting someone soon and having a family with them i just keep seeing a ring on this person's finger here it's like your family. Your family is going to see the light. Your family is going to get healed. I heard if you guys, the whole cold, like a cold went through the whole family or something, your whole family is going to be healed too because of you. You're going to get much more serious about holistic, modern. Yeah, holistic meets modern. Like there is a, there's an advertisement um, <clears throat> for like a, yeah, like, <clears throat> thanks spirit, for like a cough syrup that I saw a couple months ago and it was like all natural, like plant medicine in an over-the-counter um yeah it was crazy I was like nah shit they do that now like it's, it was just like all natural stuff and I'm like whoa that's where it's at okay that's where it's at I feel like God is putting so many of these amazing healing um holistic natural herbs and and stuff and and mother nature is like flooding the market right now which i love i'm all about it and i think that you're all about that too what's another psychic gift ace of wands knight of pentacles Yeah, you won't you won't feel so fried, so 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 energetically depleted because you're pulling back your energy. When you get this new spark of an idea with the Ace of Wands, you you go slow with it. It's not like you just, especially in your creative projects. Okay. I keep hearing the word telephone as well, which I kind of feel is a telepathy thing. I feel for you guys, your next psychic like, gift has to do with telepathy. Being able to like tell somebody's gonna call you five minutes before they do. Or knowing who it is at the door before you even ask who is it. It's stuff like that, yeah. You guys, your gifts, they're more practical, which is really cool. These are gifts that are gonna help you in the 3D. It's gonna help you in your day to day. The lovers, seven of wands. It's gonna be easier for you to choose better boundaries too, like saying no to certain people. Because I think that you do hear people telepathically and they're not always kind to you. Look at this, eight of cups. You're walking away from people that are just, you're just, you're not, you're not feeling like they are where you are. Yeah, eight of cups and the eight of, you can't make it up guys. Death and eight of cups on the split. I'm going to leave it there. You guys are going to have an easier time walking away from people. Um, anyway, I love you. If you want to personal with me, all the information is in the description. I help psychics, empaths, uh, twin flames heal. So go ahead and check it out guys. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, a pile three, those who chose this deck, welcome to your reading. Your next psychic gift, please. Holy spirit. Can I please know pile three's next psychic gift? Okay, I'm being tuned into like the three, the, the third eye. Um, I feel like you guys are seeing things in dreams, astral travel, projections. Your dreams. Yeah, I'm hearing psychic warfare, spiritual warfare. Your dreams are your next gift. They're going to get even more enhanced, even more vivid, even more colorful and imaginative and lucid i feel like pile three you guys wow yeah three like the yeah yeah third eye like, you guys pile three your dreams are already intense they're about to get crazier okay you're healing people in your dreams these are random strangers i'm hearing like people pull on your energy and like you go to them no, yeah, I'm hearing earth angel. You're an earth angel. So what's happening is people in waking life that maybe watch your social media or, you know, that you like run into at the grocery store, they remember you, they pull on your energy 
for help and guidance, some sort of assistance. And in the dream space is where you're healing them. I'm hearing that you could literally just be listening to them. They cry to you in a dream. They emotionally release. This is like a gift that it's so much faster. You could do so much more in one night's sleep than you could in the waking world. Because like, say for instance, it's a grocery store clerk. It's like, you're not gonna go to that person's house in the 3D and sit there for two hours, let them cry. You're gonna go in a dream. They're gonna cry and release and purge and then, and then that's it. I'm seeing the color blue. That could be your favorite color. You're being drawn to blue a lot right now, which is a very healing color. It's all about healing. Blue is healing. And I'm also getting throat chakra. So I feel like you guys, yeah. You're, 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 you're speaking to people in the higher planes. Like you're speaking to random strangers. You don't know these people. You don't know them is what spirit's telling me. You, you have no idea who they are. You'll never meet them a day in your life. That's, that's what, wow. Wisdom, number five, which is the throat chakra, the hierophant. You're some sort of priest. Like, it, it's like a, it's like a, you, you go to people's homes. Or like, you see entire families in your dreams. Um, you could even be seeing animals. You're healing. Oh my gosh. This one is blowing my mind. I knew it would happen eventually in these, in this reading today, but this one is the one that's doing it for me. You're going to people's homes and you're even healing their pets. Somebody could have just had a, a dream with fish. I don't know. You might want to look up that dream with fish because I don't know. There's something to that. Wow. Wow. Your dreams are about to get insane. Okay. It's like, it's like you're this like gypsy nomad, right? Like going to villages, like which are families really, but, but going to like certain, you know, it's like you're exposing things in dreams and these people that are also dreaming of you. It's like their higher self remembers the dream when they wake up. The knowledge that you're giving these people, it's an answer, it's a solution to their problem they wake up with, they don't understand how they know the answer, how they know a solution, but they just know to try something. Spirit is showing me that this is how the universe works. This is how when our spirit guides, you know, when we try to manifest something, it's like you have to do something to get there. So say for instance, you want to lose 10 pounds. The universe will show you like this perfect exercise routine for you that will really target that area, right? But how do you get that insight? Spirit guides. You are now a spirit guide. You are now the high priest that, 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 that oh my God, I just said, the, I just heard the Lord in my head that the Lord is using. So you could be religious, I'm not sure, formerly re religious, I'm not sure, but that, um, that God is using to like plant seeds in these, in these people's subconscious. Like, hey, you want that? That's what you want. That answer, that answer. You're, you're coming through like giving people knowledge, yeah. Hmm. Their higher self. I mean, their higher self is like recording it. You know what I'm saying? But they like wake up in the 3D and they're like, wow, that was a strange dream. I had a dream that so-and-so did this or they said I should try that. Or some of them might not even be conscious. They're just going to know to pick up that certain, you know, whatever it is, like remedy or, you know what I, you know what I mean? Or go to this certain therapist. Like you're telling them your, your higher self is so aligned with, with, with source energy. Like it knows your soul knows everything. Our, all our souls know everything, but you're so in tune with your higher self, which knows everything that you are going to these people and saying, look, you want to go to this therapist. She's got the, the right, you know, words for you. Or you want to go, you want to, you want to target this area or you want to, you want to eat this food to lose weight or you want to, you know what I'm saying? You go to these people and some of them don't wake up conscious. Some of them, some of them, when they wake up, they don't remember a dream, but their higher self does. Their higher self remembers what you've said, which again, their higher self knows stuff too. So it's basically like 
you're both, it's so much more powerful, so much more potent when your higher self meets their higher self in a dream. Wow, yours is dream walking. I just heard dream walking so loud. And then we have the number five again. Five of swords, conflict and defeat. You are dream walking into people's like subconscious, unconscious, subconscious mind and planting seeds there. Patience and planning. Wow, okay. Psychic gift. Three of pentacles. Yeah, you're like collaborating with these people in dreams. Guys, you're seeing spiritual warfare for what it is. You, pile three, sadly, have to see spiritual warfare far worse than other people. Far worse. You have it the worst. You're affected by this emotionally, vibrationally. You're, you're, you're so affected. Um, and it feels like the only thing your soul can do at this point is work. Yeah, spiritual... Spiritual... Um, It's like spiritual warfare, but um, you're about to have somebody in your life that helps you with this as well. I'm actually getting a, a, a like a soulmate or something. Sacral chakra. Your, your sacral chakra is being healed very soon. Someone wants to like give to you. Tower, disruption. Can I know more? Suffering in silence. I'm telling you, this person understands spiritual warfare as well. Your sacral is being healed and it's going to do something for you. Awareness. Your manifestations are coming in. Another channeled message that came through the other day was that someone, whoever chose that pile, the first of many manifestations that they, they hadn't had yet, like it was blocked because their, sa their, their entire chakra system was blocked. So they couldn't manifest the magician here. But so it was the, the message was like your twin flame is coming in to um, completely activate your chakra system. We're just going to bring manifestations in for you. Because what I'm hearing is spirits say you need to be taken care of financially. You need to be provided for because you're doing so much work and you're doing so much work for God. It's like God wants to come through and, and, and provide this for you, this stability, so you don't have to worry about money anymore ever. Yeah, the universe, you can't make it up. The world, like in the 3D, in the world. The universe wants to provide for you. Well, not only wants to, but kind of has to, has an obligation because you're a light worker. You're doing all this work for free in the, in the 4D, in the 5D, like you need to be compensated for it. So your chakra system is being healed by, I think, a romantic partner. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, very soon. Gemini, Scorpio energy, maybe a Taurus. Six of Cups, can't make it up guys. Soulmate, there it is. Memories of love, Six of Cups. Someone from your soul family and only they could do this. We have strength card power here. Whatever it is, this person is helping you release your power in your sacral, which is gonna give you more ambition to like wanna get things done and also to like crave things again because you stopped craving things. Desire, sex, money, food even I'm hearing like you guys could have like and there's nothing wrong with having these things you know what I mean in moderation it's like it's like you kind of just like life got really bland and vanilla for pile three truth yeah there is so much more to spirituality just to be you know just because we're holy light workers and starseeds does not mean that we're not allowed to like enjoy life orgasms chocolate you know buying a luxury vehicle like you know what i'm saying you're allowed to have that so somebody's coming in very soon could be a leo wow look at this you see how he's cupping this candle here to relight your fire to get you excited hope star card the star a star seed a star seed is coming in and i think this is a romantic partner i do i feel that for pile three and um they're gonna help you want to get out of bed again they're gonna help you like have your desires and your your cravings satiated because this pile and there's nothing wrong with this guys 
I feel like you fasted. I feel like you were celibate. I feel like you, you didn't even eat anything you wanted to eat or you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you just restricted yourself so much that, um, your psychic gift coming in is someone. It's a person who's opening your chakra system. very successfully, victory and success, so that you can, it is a soulmate, a number six again. It, 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 it's someone that is very much going to help you get a new beginning. Look at this, emotional loss, because why? You lost so much, it was always loss, 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 loss. New beginning. It's like you really want to discover new passion. Mm -hmm. Um. This person might even provide for you, which is another six here. They, they might even provide for you. Um, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe somebody here wants that, others might not, it's okay. But, but it's like the universe is going to bless this person with financial abundance so that they can bless you with financial abundance because your work, honey, your work is more far reaching than this other person. I'm not saying that they don't have a healing ability, I do. I think this is a star seed as well. They have healing gifts. Theirs is, theirs is manifestation. Theirs is um, the law of attraction, yeah. I'm hearing the name Ness, like Nessa, Vanessa, N-E-S-S. -S. Um, yeah, yeah, your psychic gifts. You're gonna be exploring so much more of the astral plane very soon. It's gonna be so fun. Oh my gosh, passion ignited, guys, you can't make it up. Your passion is gonna be ignited again. You're gonna be doing so much astral travel, lucid dreams and stuff. It's like the universe wants to bless you with, a, with like the ability to rest and just like have fun during the day because at nighttime, that's when you put in work. I feel like pile three, you guys could go up to like 15 to 16, 17 different people. Wow, solitude. You could go up to all of these people by yourself in meditation or like during sleep. What am I getting with that? During sleep, you go up to the, look at the blue, I told you. You might wanna wear a lot of blue right now. That'd be really healing. It would be healing for you. You'd transmute a lot of this pain because you, you keep absorbing it. And you need to transmute it, okay? Salt baths, guys, stuff like that. Um, the blue, yeah, the blue. You're so healing. Five of pentacles. You have, you have all, f is, is that all four fives? I think, I think you have four fives here. What's gonna be changing, and then you have the six of pentacles. You have the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles in reverse. What's gonna be changing soon is like, you're gonna be compensated for this. It might not be directly. It's not like you're going to go in a dream and somebody's going to hand you money. Although that has happened to me recently. So if that happened to you recently in a dream as well, that is a telltale sign. You're about to be given gifts, um, bonuses, like, like random checks in the mail. Um, you're, you're just going to be handed things from the universe because they, they need to, God needs to protect you and provide for you. So you're going from the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. Why? Because you're doing this work now. You're doing your mission work. And it's like, okay, we need, we want to provide for you now. Ace of cups. Yeah. We want to provide for you. So, wow. Really cool reading, guys. My third eye hurts. Like, my crown and my third eye. Like, I'm, I'm, I have a headache right now. So I feel like you guys are having massive migraines. That is a sign of what you're doing in the astral plane. Like it's so much, it's so much, it's so much. And you're, you're, you're taking on so many people, so many people's like, um, their problems and stuff. It's like, it's, it's really imperative that you guys clear your energy. Okay. Yeah. You need to like get that off of you. I have like stray hairs. It's like, you need to get that off of you. So, um, Maybe play like some um, um, violet flame um, meditation music on a speaker next to you, like a Bluetooth speaker or on your headphones or something when you first wake up. Like selenite would be really good as well. Clear quartz and selenite would be really good at getting your energy clear again after you wake up from a dream. So 
when you wake up, put this on your chakra system and like sit there for a half hour doing Reiki or just thinking about your energy coming back to you and it being crystalline, being pure light, pure light. Okay. Cause you're, you need to transmute this stuff because you're, you're taking on so much in, of other people's energy in dreams. And that's like, that's why God wants to come through and provide for you financially. Okay. Yeah. That don't feel bad about not having a job. Cause I don't, I think somebody here doesn't have a job. You have no idea what you're doing though. You're doing for the kingdom of heaven. I heard you have no idea what you're doing for the kingdom of heaven. Like you don't have a typical nine to five. That's what I'm getting. Like you're, you, you, you're choosing wisely to be focused on yourself and, and he healing God's people. And so, so God is coming through. Like we're about to, wow, there's wisdom again. You're making wise choices in your life. If right now you guys are being asked to leave your job, that's a wise choice wise choice you will be provided for obstacles and challenges five you will be provided for i know there's a lot of challenges in this line of work like of course it's sometimes a thankless job but the universe will provide for you it doesn't matter freaking how it doesn't matter how it matters when and why or it matters what and why what do you want why do you want it what you want is financial abundance so that why so you never again have to worry about money so you can do this work it is exhausting. Doing readings like this is exhausting. It, it, it is, it is draining it, doing work in the, in the 5d it, 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 it's draining. Okay. It's draining. And I feel like you guys need to be compensated for that. So anyway, um, I hope that helped. If you guys want to check out Patreon, please do. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi guys. Welcome to your reading. Those who chose pile four, the Kawhi deck. Thank you for being here. Let's find out what your next psychic gift will be. Wow. I'm seeing unicorns and fairies. Something about working with, with the fae or working with like ethereal beings. You guys. Wow. You have like a very innocent energy. Um, your gift is more working with like, I don't know, like elementals and... Um, I don't know. I've never seen unicorns. I know that they, I think that there's a reality, a realm where maybe, you know, unicorns exist just like the Fae, but you're going to be working with the Fae, I think. I think the Fae, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. I think the Fae have contacted you, but in the past you maybe said no, just like me. You were probably terrified because, you know, you've heard some things anyway. You might be working with them very soon. This is very, I'm getting like Sprite. I'm getting like, um, um, like I'm seeing the Fool card. The embodiment of the fool card. You're going to be believing things that seem a little ludicrous, a little out there, but it's going to be fun. And it's going to be, your life is just going to be magic. Kyle Four. Mystical, metaphysical, like, like it just, it just, wow. Yeah. I'm seeing like you might even really truly work with the Fae and it's like you ask them for something and then boom, you get it. It's like, but it's, it, I'm getting so much light energy though. It's not anything dark. It's not. No, it feels good. More colorful and fun and playful. Um, you guys remember that app? I, I think it was an app. I, I, I never really used it. Did I? I can't remember. I don't think so. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like, okay, listen, that app, it was, uh, it was um, something like Rod Rodonica or R Ron Rondica or... I can't remember. You, you type in or you, you put in something like, I really want to find this. And then they give you the coordinates to go find that thing. It was very magical. Everybody was like, really, I don't know if it's still a thing. It might be, but, um, I heard about it like a year ago. The app gives you these coordinates. You go and find, it's like a scavenger hunt. And then you, you find shit. Like I've heard people like find shit, like a goose, like it's not a goose egg, but like, it's a, uh, uh, an egg hunt. Like, yeah. This is going to be like the most fun of your entire life. Like your next phase for pile four is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so fun. Dainty and fun and flirty and just like everything is just so fun, fun, fun. It's like you don't even have a worry in the world coming up. Oh, I love it. 
seven of wands you are safe you are protected you're very much down to earth when you do this but it's just like you're just gonna be letting shit roll off your shoulders queen of cups that is so you that's what i'm seeing like a queen of cups just receiving 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 so the next uh spiritual gift psychic gift is working with entities yeah woodland fairies and sprites and i don't I, guys i don't really know what that is so much really i don't know i've never i just keep hearing, hearing the word sprite um these little fairies i'm seeing fairies in my mind's eye it's a whimsical world i heard king of cups queen of cups oh i love it whatever it is it's like exactly what you want King of Cups, Queen of Cups, what? Three of Cups. So happy, so playful. You might even find like a best friend to do this with. I feel like you were around a lot of people in the past that were kind of narcissistic and always rained on your parade or always told you things like, that's not real, that's stupid. Like get your head out of the clouds. But this person coming in is just like you. There's a person coming in for pile four. Oh, Six of Pentacles. I love this energy so much. This this would be the type of friend that frolic and play. I heard frolicking and playing and, and skipping and... Wow. I love you guys so much. This pile is my favorite. Don't tell the others, but you're my favorite. Watching kids movies and Disney fairy tale princess movies and, and like... Harry Potter and, and like, you, you know. Really cool, because this person loves to explore. They love to explore the world. Um, Spirit is showing me like you guys go to a pond and you are just gonna try to attempt to like get, get the frogs croaking or, or the birds chirping. And then you'll say, okay, now stop. You're just gonna be exploring nature, exploring like what you can do, what you can do. Wow, two of swords. And again, I think that you guys are really distancing yourself from people who kept you in the two of swords energy about this. Like, oh, you're just so naive or you're so gullible or whatever. But like, honey, just because you can't see that shit does not mean it's not real. You can't see gravity, yet that keeps your ass to the ground. So you, have left behind a lot of people who were just too ornery. Dictators. Dictators telling you, don't believe this, don't believe that. That's stupid. That's foolish. Yeah, the trash guy's here. Take it out of the trash. <gasps> Hold on. Guys, I had to go make sure that that was the trash guy. I'm like, duh, I hear it. I know it's the trash, but I'm like, it's not trash day. Now, I know that that might sound like, who cares? But I took out my trash yesterday. And I was like, man, it's got to wait like a long time. <laughs> I don't know why I cared so much. I was like, I don't know. I just like not having people in my apartment complex go through my shit, you know? And um, the trash just showed up. Was not supposed to today. Something is happening very magically in your energy. You're making things happen that shouldn't be happening, is what I'm hearing. You guys might want to look up that app, that app Ronautica or something, Rondotica. I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, it's, it, I mean, be safe, guys, for sure. But you know what I mean? It's like a scavenger hunt app. I don't know. Um, anyway, you guys are making shit happen that shouldn't be happening. Pure magic. Pure magic. I, I do feel a lot of people are jealous that you're going to be doing this. Also, you're manifesting love. That's what I see. Nine of Swords. Um, you might be a little bit afraid to have this divine union because this is a divine union. This is a match made in heaven, honey. Um, you might be a little bit afraid, Nine of Swords, because I think that people really are jealous of you two together. Yeah. Because you just both kind of live in the clouds. And you don't want to come down. You're like, why would I have to? I don't have to. 
if I can play with fairies and, you know, talk about Bigfoot and do fun shit, like, why would I want to come down? Uh, make that make sense. If I could be fucking happy every day for the rest of my fucking life, why would I want to come down? Oh, six of cups and the devil. See, there is someone very jealous about you and this person being high priestesses. Really envious, really jealous, the devil, six of cups. This, the soulmate union you have here, people are not exactly thrilled about it. I don't give a shit what they want. You are so protected and divinely guided. Like, it doesn't matter. Eight of Wands, it's coming in regardless. Knight of Cups, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for sure. I didn't really get this message for any other pile, but you definitely have. Well, I mean, I guess I did maybe in one, I can't remember. But you definitely have somebody coming in very quickly. Three of Wands and the Chariot, babe. Oh my God. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn. <laughs> and it's just like, they are just like you. Fairies, Knight of Swords, they believe. They believe. This person is a believer, okay? Ace of Wands, a believer. It makes them excited to do cool shit. Like, they love going on ghost hunts and adventures. And um, I, I'm trying to think of something else. Um, like, they do seances or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor. Guys, you're about to meet your divine counterpart. That's another psychic gift. You and this person are match made in heaven. And you're just going to be blessed. Like, I keep hearing mermaids and, like, just other realms. You're tuning into other realms with this person. Exploring. And they love to explore. This is, a, this is the type of person that is always taking charge. They're always, like of their own life not of people but of their own life and they're always going forward trying something and this is what's going to make people really jealous seven of swords in the higher front people will definitely not want you two together i see that clearly six of wands they don't want you together and they definitely don't want you talking about this stuff because this is magical and mystical and you i could totally see pile four starting a podcast with this person um so anyway your psychic gifts you're going to be working with elementals the fae i'm not you know nature spirits Wow, so cool. That is so cool. Anyway, I thank you guys for being here. If you'd like a personal, all the information is in the description. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to your reading. Those who chose file five, this deck. Thank you for being here. You're next. What is this one? The Tarot of the Divine, I think. This is one of my newer decks. And I just got done talking about pile four. We talked about fairies over there. I split the deck open and you have a fairy on this deck. And I, I, I don't remember ever seeing that. I've never seen this card. And then you have the world right under it, which I thought at first was the lovers for obvious reasons. Look at that, it's beautiful. This deck is so gorgeous. Whoever donated this to me. I thank you so much. Oh my God, and there's Seven of Swords. This is kind of a continuation of Pile 4 so far. Um, dude, the King of Cups is here and the Lovers. Oh my God. If you guys just watch Pile 4, the, 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 the Ten of Cups, this is the same. This is like the same. Let's actually see. I'm gonna try to clear the energy and make sure like I wanna get your guys' reading, you know, separate. Holy Spirit, please. I wish to only channel messages for pile five. What is their next psychic gift coming in, please? Ooh. I heard an army. An army. An army is being sent to you. An army. Heavy hitters. Wow. These people are like protectors of some divine realm or something. Like, I don't know. You're going to be one with this army. Like, you, your spiritual... Wow. Wow. Ten of swords, bro. That's what I'm hearing. Like, you guys, you're actually, you're actually, these slinging arrows. There's an army up here. Why are they slinging arrows at you? You're already underwater. It's like they're slinging arrows.
I heard prayer is gonna get a lot easier for Pile 4. That's like a new psychic gift coming in. It's like your prayers are answered far faster. Because you know how to pray. The way that you're speaking to the universe, you know how to do it now. This is like war. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like, this means war. Somebody tried to hurt you. This means war. I just heard the name Tabitha. Eight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, though. Look at this. Look at this woman. Look at her face. She's like scorned. She's like, this means fucking war. This means war. It's what I'm hearing. But look at all these swans in the background. It's almost like you don't see swans normally geared up for war, but this is the army you're bringing in. An army of divine souls. But it's like, it's go time. She's... Wow, this is deep. Look at her fingers, they're red. Do you see that? And her feet are red too. And these have thorns on these pentacles. It's like whatever you've been working at really hard, it's like it's not been working or it's not fair. It's like it's not getting you the, the results that you needed. But look, see, her fingers are red, right? And in this one, she has no fingers. They cut off her fingertips. God, it's morbid. This is actually really morbid, but she has no fingers, you see? They, they cut them off and that's why she's pissed. It's like something happened in your business or something happened with you making money or um, like, like, like getting you somewhere, getting you something, getting you like accolades, getting you noticed for something. Like it didn't work. People were slinging arrows at you and it's like you weren't getting, you weren't getting what you deserve. I heard retribution. You, you, you weren't getting what you deserve and this army is coming in like that's fucking over. These swans here, what are these swans? Um, what do they want for my viewer? King of cups. Guys, did I not just say that was from pile four? You definitely have to go check out pile four. Um, and I'm getting king of cups like they really want Oh, it looks like a dragon and a serpent. Oh, this deck is my new favorite. Guys, the lovers, you cannot, you cannot. This person wants you with somebody. I mean, these people, they're multiple, but they're energies. So your psychic gifts, it's kind of bleeding in with pile four. Your psychic gift is actually a soulmate. It's, it's, um, it's seeking revenge in a way, which, you know, normally I don't, I don't, you know, I think that, Revenge is the Lord's really, but who's the Lord? Your higher self. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really are. Oh, damn it. I just threw a card. Eight of swords. I think that you guys were afraid. Hold on. I just, I got to pause it. Okay. Um, I think that you guys were afraid to like want revenge or like, mm -hmm. yeah, to be in your more shadow element, which is like, fuck off, get away from me. How dare you even treat me like that? You will never have my energy another day in your life. That's cute. Seven of Pentacles. So somebody is coming in to invest into you. These are two warriors, man. So, so you are bringing in an army, an avalanche of, of fight, f feisty, fierce warriors, okay? Feisty, fierce fighters. my heart four of pentacles you see how this 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 vulture is like protecting her and her four pentacles it's like you don't have enough like whatever happened to you you lost it all or or it wasn't coming in right and it's because i think you were people were flinging arrows slinging arrows at you right there's the queen of cups you were underwater and while you were underwater drowning you actually learned you're a mermaid And now you know how to pray. Now you know how to ask for help. And now the king and queen of cups, ladies and gentlemen. Now the true king and queen. Legends never die. Legends never die. Somebody stood between you and your divine counterpart, the, the empress, exactly. And between your wealth as well. 
they stood between you and achieving your goals and eight of wands and you're right back on track. These are not slinging arrows anymore. These are wands, but they're on fire. This crow now has fire. You didn't have that before. Legends never die when the world is calling you. you. Guys might want to listen to that song. Um, Legends never die by. I can see Guys, this is giving me like true king and queen, like <laughs> legends never die. Um, like, and the crowd goes wild, like true king and queen, like emperor and empress, like legends never die. And the world's coming um, League of Legends, I think it is by The Current. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Against The Current is the name of the artist, I think. Oh, my God, it is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Where'd, where'd that card go? Against The Current. Legends Never Die by Against The Current. Legends never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them screaming out your name? Exactly. You, you, oh my gosh, you guys. You have like the fiercest warriors, sp spiritually speaking, hearing your call because you're calling out. Oh my God, this is just, this is too good. This is too good. This is like, your spiritual gift is going to be knowing how to pray, knowing how to get shit handed to you because you know how to pray. You know how to ask the universe for what you want, period. That's it. I want it, I got it, period. That's it. It's no, it, there's no like ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's like you want what you want, you get it. That's it. I feel like you have like a star-crossed lover thing going on here. Again, it kind of bleeds in with pile four. King and queen of cups, king and queen of cups. And I think that people have really tried to separate you two. And you're just, you're over it. You're so mad. I think that your revenge is, is also a psychic gift in a way because it's like, it's laser focused energy. I'm like, <sighs> queen of swords. Oh no. I am hearing taking out the trash. I'm also hearing cutting out people from your life. Telling them like to basically get wrecked. Like energetically, you are telling these people, I don't think so, never again. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of like the dark feminine energy, but it's like, it's cool. It's, it works, you know, it's like, you're tired of being a pushover queen of swords. You're very soon going to be cutting out everybody from your life. That's what I feel like everyone, everyone, everyone. It feels like everyone. Um, it just, it just, it, because they, they, they were all against you with this person who is actually your divine counterpart. I'm feeling a psychic gift is like knowing who to do that to and how to do it. I keep hearing exact revenge, like to, to, yeah, I'm hearing Knight of wands. I keep hearing revenge, revenge, revenge. Your n next psychic gift is revenge. I, wow. I'm hearing heads will roll. Wow. Psychic gift. Okay, so it's not only um, revenge. It's knowing that you're allowed to have it. It's almost like, yeah, we have knight of swords. Like, like you're, you're charging in like cutting things and people out of your life. Like, nah, bye. I gotta go. Bye. Like you will never treat me like that again. It's something like, it's not bad. It's a matter of perception, perception and perspective, you know? Um, it's just you saying we're done. Like we're fucking done. Get wrecked. Don't care what your karma is. Not my problem. Don't care. Don't care. Literally do not care. There is pile five is all about 
boundaries and saying like, I don't care, never again, do not ever talk to me again. You're praying for courage and strength, I'm hearing, pile five, and that's exactly what you're getting. Courage and strength. People know not to mess with you. Not anymore. The hermit. Like they know they either have to, oh, justice. You see? Karma. They know they have to back off now because you are like telling these people your karma looks horrendous, not my problem. The emperor in reverse could be um, an Aries or any um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're, you're destined to be with. You have the emperor and empress here and, and it's like, or Virgo or a Libra. So pile five, you have a, quite a few gifts. You have one, you know how to communicate with the universe. You know how to ask for what you want now, right? Pray to whatever deity you have. You know what I mean? That's one gift. Second gift, a divine union. Third gift, being able to cut out toxic bullshit from a mile away that you can tell these people have bad karma and you're like, I don't deserve that. That's your karma. You fucking said it, you did it, you you drank it, you ate it, you whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like whatever it is, it's yours. You decided to do it. And and this is a psychic gift because the guilt is gone, the remorse is gone for wanting to do this. At first you wanted to do this, but now you're like, I, I don't, I literally don't care. Nope. No shit's given. Not for bio five. I hear they mess with your job. They mess with your money long enough. You have an army, an avalanche of people coming in. These are holy, divine people. These are God's people. Queen of Wands. Wow. She is just, she's got that volcano behind her erupting and she's just like, I don't give a fuck. So your spiritual gift, your next psychic gift is like, I don't give a fuck attitude. Ten of Cups. This, I just keep hearing all hail the king and queen. And then you have everybody here also in crowns, crowning you both. Wow. Legends never die. And I'm going to leave it there at 10 of cups. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.